grocery bills are soaring. Store owners like David Lee Kwan have had to lower profit margins and ask food suppliers for deals, especially on imported products. Those costs get passed on to customers. We have seen a bit of a pushback, especially from the old pensioners who have limited income. Since December to January, food prices have gone up from 5.7% to 6.5%. And that's the largest jump we've seen since 2009. Margarine, beef, and spices have seen some of the highest increases, with chicken, fruit, and bakery items not far behind. So why is inflation rising so much? There are a few reasons for that. Supply chain is exhausted after the last two years, but we've had catastrophic flooding in British Columbia. Beyond that, he says the pandemic has shaken the entire supply chain, along with the truck protests. And uh, resulted in um, deliveries and and. Uh, products being shorted and, and delayed. Beyond groceries, prices have also gone up for gas and shelter, but that's nothing we haven't seen before. Some say the steep and sudden rise in grocery is deeply concerning. We're very dependent on imports of food and uh, from overseas and from the U.S. So any kind of border uh, challenges and everything to do with supply chain that we've been reading about have built up over time. But there is hope. Likewise, if it gets fixed, it'll be some time before it shows up as, a, a, you know, as, as a, a better solution for us in our day-to-day -day lives. For now, we just have to be happy and just keep it going. Grocers like Quan are trying to make the best out of a pricey situation. Vineet Braich, CBC News, Vancouver.